In this class, we are going to learn how we can get an email or an email message with the help of Microsoft's Graph API. I'm here in the official documentation page by Microsoft. From the table of content, we need to traverse to this mail section. Under that, we have this message section. So, if you click on the message, we will get a topic called as get message. Click on this, it will open the page for you. Here at the high level, Microsoft has documented what we can achieve with this get message graph API. So it can retrieve the properties and the relationships of a message object. By here, the message, it means mail. We can use dollar value. This is one of the query parameters like we had seen in our earlier classes like list messages and create a draft messages. So the query parameters are denoted with dollar symbol in graph APIs. So we'll learn how we can get the MIME response from this api as well there are two scenarios where an app can get a message in other users mail folder so this depends on the permissions you can have a look at this now as i'm making use of my personal outlook.com email account from microsoft i'm going to make use of those permissions you need to add those permissions to your azure app when you register in the portal also you can modify your apps post your registering as well so in detail we had seen how we can register our app as well as how we can add the permissions, how we can get the client secret, as well as the value from the Azure portal. Please check out those classes if you have not followed our classes on the same. If you are making use of your organization or school account, just make sure you add the appropriate permissions. Basically for personal and the work, permissions will be same like mail read basic and the mail read. But coming to the application permissions, we need to add read basic dot all. Now here are a few samples provided by Microsoft how we can get the message from the mailbox. We can provide the ID over here and fetch the messages. As we had seen in the case of list message class, every message or the email in our mailbox will be associated with a unique ID. Be it a message what we received in our inbox folder or be it an email what we send to other person which resides in the send item, be it a draft message, outbox message. Anything in mailbox will be associated with a unique ID. We need to attach over here or add in the path or the template parameter in the URL and fetch the details. Optionally, as I told, there are few query parameters. We'll learn shortly how we can make use of those and get the response in HTML as well as in the text. Like in the case of other APIs, 200 OK status in the response signifies that the response was successful or the invocation to the service was successful with the help of Graph API. Now, without wasting much time, let's begin with the hands-on and see one by one those examples, whatever has mentioned by Microsoft. I'm here in the Postman client. I have created a new request over here with the name get message. I've added the authorization over here with the odd 2.0. We had seen how we can do this in detail in our earlier classes. Now, the first job over here is we need to add the permissions. Let me add those permissions over here. Provide the space. And next permission we need to add is mail read. Add this over here. I will click on this get new access token and get the token. I had paused the video. I have got the token and have attached over here. Now we need to provide the ID of a message over here. For that we can make use of our list messages API. In the list message API we had seen how we can get the list of all the emails present in our mailbox be it in an inbox folder as well as sent item we can query and get only those messages available in inbox folder as well with the help of query parameters for detail you can check this list messages class which we have already covered now let me show you the inbox so this is how the inbox looks for me we have one email received from our gmail email address which is having a attachment now if i show you the postman client so attachment is true and then if you come to the body, we are having a HTML body and the sender is benum.apps at the rate gmail.com. If you want to verify with the help of the subject, we will see over here the subject attachment sample mail. That is the same thing what you see over here. I have showed this just because I want to select the ID from here. So whenever you are fetching the message with the help of this get message, the first thing in your programming should be this list messages invocation call. You have to get the unique ID for the message for which you are trying to fetch the details for. Once you get the ID, you need to provide over here and click on send. As you can see, we have got the status as 200. Okay, let me drag this little bit upper. 
So if you see, we are getting exactly the details, whatever is shown over here. We are having an attachment and the attachment name is sample attachment.txt. All those things are mentioned over here. What is the body? What is the sender details? All those things. We can get the details overview from this one. Now let me switch over to the documentation. So we had seen the first case wherein we will send the ID of a message and we will retrieve the details from the graph API for get message. Next example is if we want to get the internet message headers, then how we can get that? If we just scroll towards the right, we need to add this query parameter that is select is equal to internet message headers. If we add that, then the set of message headers in the response object is truncated for brevity. Here Microsoft has truncated the details, but we will show how it looks like exactly in our response. Now we need to just add slash over here and provide the query parameter. Just tab out and click on send button. Now if you scroll down, we will get a tab something like this. We will have a internet message headers. From this we will get a overall details like the name, all, all those stuffs when it was received and all the details. So this will be useful only if you are interested in getting the internet message headers. Now if I scroll down to the example number 3 wherein we will pass this query parameter that is prefer query parameter and we will mention what we need in the response whether the text or the HTML. Now if we just scroll towards right, I will copy entire query parameter from here. Just copy. I will switch over to the postman client. I will remove the previously added query parameter which it says internet message headers instead of that i will add this one that is the unique body prefer this is the query parameter what we need in order to retrieve the message body in text format we will also look at how we can get in html just scroll up here it says prefer outlook body content type is equal to test in the header if we provide this one we will get the body and the unique body of the message or the email in text format we will also look at by changing this to html let me switch over to this postman client and click on send button now it says there is a bad request the error is because we have passed the header here in the query parameter we shouldn't do this just remove this from here and we need to switch over to the header section here we need to paste in the value entire thing we need to paste just unibody you just remove from here and prefer you just copy and paste in the key done so while copying this unibody, we had just removed this as well. That is the unibody. Let me put back to the query parameter over here. Just put the comma and enter. Now we have added the preference over here. That is we need the output body in text format. And in the query parameter, we have subject body, body preview and unibody. Click on send. So now in the response, we will get the body and all those stuffs in the text format. Now I will just change this to HTML and see how it responds. Click on send. Now if I click on send, we are getting the body in the HTML format. So like this we can play around with the data and the header and the query parameters and fetch the response as per our business requirement. Now the last example in this documentation for get message is how we have to get the MIME content. So in order to do that, just at the end we need to add this dollar value. Just we need to remove everything over here in the query parameter. I will remove everything over here and put the dollar value. Just put the question mark and I will uncheck this preference. So one thing you need to make sure in the preferences in the response header, we will have this custom header returned back from the Microsoft that is preference applied. So in the response, they will confirm that they have applied the preference. Then we will come back to our example number four, wherein we will add this dollar value and click on send. Now coming to the last example that is example number 4, we can get the MIME content as well by using this API. So we are not going to consider this use case in this class but if your requirement is to fetch the MIME content then you can make use of this API wherein the only thing what you have to make sure is after you provide the message or emails ID then you have to put this query parameter that is dollar value. It will look something like this in the MIME version. In detail we will not dig into this. So you can make use of this only if there is a requirement in your project. In most of the projects, you will have a requirement wherein you will read the response in the JSON format either as a text or as a HTML body.